Well, in the nine and a half years since 76 million people watched his TV show come to an end, Jerry Seinfeld has been busy with his two main passions, his family and stand-up comedy. Today, he takes his comedic talents into movie theaters as creator and star of the new animated film, B-Movie. Jerry Seinfeld, good morning. Good morning, Julie. This was your first movie. Yeah, it's the first movie I've, like, you know, of a real movie. I, I was in a documentary a few years ago about comedy, but this is my first actual movie theater movie. So how was the experience? It's very exciting. It's really exciting. I mean, it, I wanted to do something very different than everything I had done before. That's why I went to animation, because I just thought these are very interesting images to play with. Now, how did this come about? It came about... In a very strange way, I, was, uh, I had a dinner with Steven Spielberg a few years ago, and I was just making conversation, and I just said, you know, a movie about bees would be funny if they called it Bee Movie. Because I knew he liked the term Bee Movie, because he's a fan of that, those old movies, and, and uh, he thought that really should be a movie, and then they had to convince me to do it, which they ultimately did. And it took four years. It takes four years to make one of these movies, yeah. Really about two years of animation and then two years to develop the script and the, get all the actors and everything. I want to play a clip from it because basically you lend your voice to Barry B. Benson who graduates from his three days of college. Yes. And he decides that he wants to do much more than just produce honey. Yeah, that's really the only business that they have in the hive is honey. Right, but you want to break out. I'm looking for something more interesting. Let's take a look at the clip. All right, launch position. Black and yellow. Yellow. Are you ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Wind. Check. Antenna. Check. Nectar pack. Check. Wing. Check. Stinger. Check. Scared out of my shorts. Check. <laughs> How hard was it for you to put your entire performance in your voice? Well, for comedians, that, we're kind of used to that. You know, most comedians... <laughs> You're doing it right now. Yeah, it's all about our voice. You know, the microphone's the only thing that we have on stage. So I'm kind of used to that. So it wasn't a challenge that No, way. that wasn't. The challenge is creating the visual to match the voice. So, you know, to get the gestures and the facial expressions. That was the more time-consuming part. Did they take your eyes? I hope not. I mean, did they? How no, much? No, these did are they blue. His eyes are blue. Mine are brown, or whatever. But did they try and uh, copy your features at all? Oh yeah, they definitely did. They got a certain look in the eye. A certain. I don't know what it is, but it does remind me of me. I, don't, don't you think? Uh, he's adorable. Yeah, he's yeah. very so, cute yes, guy. I, I, I thought so, guy. but I didn't know how you felt about I, it. I love it. I mean, I, I just thought it was fun to make something that was different. Did you, by any chance, catch 60 Minutes last week? Their story about the disappearing bees. I know all about the disappearing bees. I'm very suspicious, Jerry Seinfeld. Well, a lot of people think I did that as a publicity stunt for the movie. But the truth is, we had that story and then this other thing, this phenomenon started happening in nature and that was really bizarre. It's like, like you know, it's like you're in the blob and you're making a movie about the blob and then you hear, by the way, there's an actual blob on the street. <laughs> and you go, what how could chances? that be? <laughs> All right, what did you not know about bees before you were making this film, and what did you learn? Like, what are some of the fascinating bee facts? You I know everything about bees. Well, first thing I learned that I used in the movie was bees can't fly in the rain. If it rains, they have to land, because it, 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 it cools them off, and it makes them heavier, and they can barely fly. Bees are the worst flying creatures in, in the world. In good weather? As in well. any weather. Why is that? They are too fat. Why do they go and on a diet? <laughs> they do. They're dieting constantly. All they eat is honey, but they eat so much of it. They, uh, and their wings are very small. They're very bad little planes, now, but they, uh, they make the best of it. That's what I love about bees is they make the best of a bad situation. Did you kill bees before you made this film? Kill bees? Yes, and did you stop killing bees after? Like, no, I, I would never kill bees. Why would I kill a bee? Because a lot of people are afraid of them. I mean, they, well, every one of they... Well, then move, move to another area. You don't have to kill them. I have to say, your yeah. film made me not want to kill bees. Yeah. You know, it's usually like, ah, you wave your arms around. No, it's a very sophisticated insect, a very sophisticated society, and a wonderful little company that they have. They work for small companies making sweetener. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. It is a great thank film you. for all ages and all audiences. Jerry Seinfeld, thank you so much. Thanks, Julie. You're welcome.